Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Chris Schock. He's the Barron County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. You know, Chris, New Year, everybody thinks about what we can do better, right. New Year's resolutions and things like that. And record keeping, if it's not, should probably be on the top of your list if you're a farmer. Oh, it is. It it should be, but it's it it's kind of like exercise, and it's it's not fun for most folks. It is not. It's it, not okay. All right. And it always seems to come around. You have really great intentions because you're right. thinking about your tax time and, and those type of things, and keeping better records mm -hmm. is important. Right. Um, we know that, that that keeping good records definitely is a function of profitability. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, we know that folks that are traditionally profitable have really good profitable operations. When we look, they keep good records. Um, and there's, there's two kinds of records, right? There's financial records and production records. Farmers don't mind keeping production records. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to know how, how much a calf weaned off. They want to know how many bushel of corn they made. They want to know, they want to know those things because those are things that are fun to talk about when you go to the coffee shop, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What, what, what's your winning weights were? That kind of stuff. Financial records are not fun to talk about, and, and really they're nobody's business, right? Okay, nobody wants to talk about their ratios and, and this kind of thing, and, um, but they're all very important. And I think you just gotta find a system. You gotta yeah. find what works for you, okay? Um, and unfortunately, there's probably not one system that's gonna no. work for everyone. No. But that with technology, right? and with all the paper record keeping that we do have, there's a there's bound to be a way to find what works for you right you've got to figure out what what you and, and I think if you think about it on this I thought about it on the way here in the fact that some people like to read a book on a mm -hmm. device iPad or Kindle or something like that some people me I like the book in my hand I like the feel of it okay all right so some people feel really comfortable about keeping electronic records maybe they are taking pictures with their phone whatever other folks are going to want something like, you know, our farm record book, okay? All right. They're going to write it down. It's the way they've always done it. And, and, and whatever, whatever you do, just consistently do it, okay? I tell people some of the production calendars we got, like the equine calendar, or the, those are good for keeping production records on, mm -hmm. okay? All right. Get a three-ring binder. Get a box. The, the gentleman I worked for in college, uh, Joanna, he, he had a really interesting way of doing his records. Uh, he had a small bucket in the truck. When the bucket got full, he brought it in, he dumped it on his <laughs> desk. The first day it rained after he dumped it on his desk, he sorted it out. All right. That was his system. It worked very well for him. I'm not endorsing it. All right. But I'm saying it worked for him. And that's the thing. You got to find what works for you. Um, and it might be a combination sure. of the two. Like a lot of times I, I like to have cattle records written down so I can reference them. But when my husband and I are working together, it's easier for them to be on some Google Sheets where he can pull it up, I can pull it up and access That's exactly them. right. And I think you brought up a good point, you know, there. This is a good time for families to yeah. interact too, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe in that generational thing. Um, you know, I, my daughter is big about it. She's really turned me on into taking pictures of stuff, which mm -hmm. gives you a date and time stamp of when something was done. I haven't even thought about that. Okay, all right, I'd be like writing it down, that kind of stuff. So generational stuff we can work together on, I, I think, is that. And, you know, younger folks, you introduce this to the older folks. Older folks, you make sure you show them the importance of keeping the records. Absolutely, and some of these records are just a good idea, but some of them are the law, like right. pesticide records and things like that. I know you brought along. You a know, pesticide, pesticide records, you got to have those. Okay, all right, you got to keep up with those. Uh, whether you keep up with paper, some sort of electronic way, if you're selling tobacco, the tobacco gap uh, requirements are there. You know, some of them are, are very much. Vegetable folks have got their own sets of sets of rules, um, and. You know, what it, what, whatever system you like, get with it, stick with it, tweak it, make it yours. I think that's really important. Too. And don't get discouraged. If no. you get, you know, to March and you haven't entered anything in, there's still time. Find a but, rainy day and do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's not a big deal. Yeah, but just keep some system, and if they need help, they can probably call oh, us, yeah. and we have a plethora of examples. We do, we do, we do. And lots of folks that think about it in lots of different ways, so to help you out. Uh, with that, I think is, is always good. So just give us a call. Let us, let us help you. 
but let's keep some records and if you're not or maybe looking for a better way we can certainly help you do that as oh, well yeah. so appreciate the information Chris and let's get this year started with some good <laughs> financial and production records we appreciate you watching the farm and home show and we hope you have a great day if you have questions about today's topic please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen thanks for watching and have a great day